for, for those that are listening and watching, I, I just say, just, just take a couple of deep breaths and just let out all of the anxiety and fear and anything that you've just been burdened with and let it out because your breath is the breath of God. And even if you don't know who God is yet and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he still has something for you because you're still his son, you're still his daughter. So Father God, right now, I just come before you and I ask, Father, your word says in Hebrews 4.16, as we draw near to the throne of grace, Father, that we will have grace and mercy. So Father, we draw near to your throne. We draw near to your throne and we ask that you open up everybody's books according to Psalms 139.16, where you have already written out their purpose, their destiny, their mandate, their calling, who their God-destined spouses are, who their God-destined business partners are, what it is that they're supposed to be doing in this earth right now. Father God, I ask that you remember that. I ask that you see their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life before the beginning of time, Father. I ask that you see that, and I ask that you remember everything, Father, that you have ordained for us, that you have already written for us. And as you do that, Lord, I ask that the angels that are appointed to us, and the angels that know and have seen what is going on, you see in your word in Matthew 18, 10, <coughs> that there are angels before your throne reporting on behalf of us. So I ask that they report and I ask that they testify on behalf of what Satan and the kingdom of darkness is doing to come against our purpose and our destiny, Father. I ask that everybody see, Father God, that they see their purpose, they see their destiny, that they see who their God-destined spouses are, that they see if they are walking in rebellion right now, if they are walking outside of your good and perfect will, that you show that to them. I ask that you give them visions and dreams, Lord. I ask that as they close their eyes and they step into that place, as they call out to you, as they surrender their sin, as they surrender the things that they're holding on to, Father, they will see you, they will feel you, they will hear you, they will smell you. They will smell that sweet sense, Father God. I ask, Father God, that they will hear your voice for those that have been crying out to you and saying, I just want to hear you. I just want to hear your voice. Lord, I ask that they hear that, Father God. If, even if it's their own voice, that they will know this is you. Lord, I ask that. I ask that all of the, the records, your records in heaven, Malachi 3.16, has everything that we have done, everything that our generation, our bloodline has done to stop us, to hinder us from walking in our purpose and destiny, from having these visions and revelations in the dreams, Lord. We ask that our legal team of angels, I ask for my legal team of angels, advocates of heaven legal team of angels, to present to you, Father, all the legal rights that have held them back all these years, Lord, even if there's demonic oppression, even if there's demonic depression, if there's people that are they're contemplating decisions that, that could never be overturned and never be changed lord we bring that before you lord we bring before you any and all confusion all witchcraft all uh mind bending spells all uh curses father especially witchcraft and spells that are causing people to be in counterfeit relationships even counterfeit marriages lord your word even says that we have a count that we have a goddess and spouse and if we are married to um, a counterfeit, Lord, I ask that you reveal that to us in mercy and grace, though. Lord, I ask, Father God, that, that if there is any um, hexes, vexes, spells, voodoo, incantation, if, if any of our soul fragments have been involved in any form of occult or magic or sex magic or black magic that we don't know of any mind control that has happened to us father god we ask that it be broken right now in jesus name we ask father god that all the records and all the legal rights all the sins all the transgressions all the iniquities everything all the verdicts from the courts of hell and any verdict including any and all accusations that other people have against us that have brought against us or even accusations that we've had against ourselves even thoughts and feelings that don't align with having the mind of Christ, Father God, we bring that before you right now, before your throne. And Father God, 
we ask, Father God, we ask for forgiveness. We repent of these. We renounce them all the way back to the hand of Father God. And we ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive us. Please bless us. Please bless us with the blessings that have been stolen from us because of this. And please release us from these witchcraft and the hexes and the voodoo and everything that has controlled our mind. Lord, we forgive, bless, and release those that have brought this upon us, including our own soul, including our own self, if we have done this to ourself, Lord. And Lord, if we have blamed you in any way, if we've blamed Father, if we've blamed King Jesus, King Jesus, if we've blamed Holy Spirit in any way, please forgive us. We're sorry. And your word says in 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins as sins, that you'll be just and righteous to be forgiven. So we receive your forgiveness, Father. We thank you that the blood of Jesus is running through all of our realms, our territories and gates right now. We thank you that all the covenants, oaths, contracts, vows, and agreements that have been made with the kingdom and darkness are being destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the angels of the Most High God are removing all the demonic entities from in, on, around us and all of our realms, territories, and gates right now. Ooh, we thank you, Father, that you're sending in angels and the Most High Living God to remove all soul invaders and all astral projectors in, on, around all of us in our realms, territories, and gates right now. And we ask that you release Holy Spirit fire upon them. Pour the blood of Jesus Christ down their throat and take them into criminal court for contempt of court charges, Lord. They are within the proximity of Jesus Christ. So, Father God, we ask a full judgment be released upon them. But we ask that they also know that what their purpose and destiny is and that they know the truth. We ask that you deprogram them. We ask that you deprogram all of us in any of our soul fragments from all lies, all trauma. And all of the programming that the enemy has instilled in our life <clears throat> to make us believe things that are not of, to make us turn away from the good and perfect will that God has. We thank you that you're deprogramming us from our body, our soul, and our spirit, from our spiritual DNA, RNA, and from our physical DNA, RNA, GNA, uh, RNA, DNA, G uh, epigenetics chromosomes and all of our body systems right now father god we thank you that king jesus is restoring our minds and our thoughts father god we thank you that king jesus is restoring our hearts we thank you that angels of the most high living god are rescuing any of our soul fragments that are in regions of captivity we thank you father that you are healing them your word says in first in john 1 1 through 5 that in the beginning, the word was with God and nothing was created without the word and through the word. And Father God, in the beginning, we didn't have soul fragments. We didn't have this trauma. So I ask that you undo all the trauma and all the lies and all the beliefs, Father. We thank you. We ask that if there are any court cases that Satan and the kingdom of darkness tries to reestablish, Father God, we place the fact that they made these contracts under duress. And that these are not legally binding do documents, that they are void, they are null and void in your kingdom, God. And we thank you for the healing and the restoration that everybody's receiving right now. We thank you that the sevenfold restitution is being released from heaven right now, according to Matthew 6.10. That your kingdom come, Yahweh, your will be done, Yahweh, on earth as it is in heaven, and you're releasing that. You're releasing healing through people's bodies right now, especially anybody with I don't know right now. I just got Down syndrome. Lord, I thank you that you're healing Down syndrome. I thank you that you're healing Parkinson's disease. Even for people that have it in their bloodline they, and they don't have it, they haven't experienced it, that they're being healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that you're opening eyes, that you're opening the spiritual eyes, that you're opening up all the spiritual senses, the eyes, the ears. You're opening up their sense of smell so they can smell with a the discernment. They can taste and they can touch in the spiritual realm. I thank you, Father, that you're going to take them into new realms, in new dimensions, only through you and only through King Jesus, because Jesus is the door and he's the pathway. And for those, Father God, right now that just listened to this prayer and they hadn't received King Jesus into their heart as full Lord and Savior, that he is the Lord over, your, over their heart, Lord. I think that they're calling out to you right now and they're saying, Lord, I want you to be Lord. I want you to rule over my life so that I can then 
place the dominion and the authority that the kingdom of God has into this world, and that you're going to use me as a vessel, that you're going to fill me with light, 